Welcome to the Yeeson instructional series. This is going to be a series playlist that I'm going to place in my YouTube channel and it's going to help you fly your Yeeson plane or as you, if you're going to be in a Yeeson pilot with an airline etc. This is going to be the easiest way to learn our planes, get to the basics of them. Um, as you can see here, this is the lovely Aurora. Uh, all the things you will learn from here will be pretty much the same for all other aircraft as it's the same kit the only differences will be the physics the feel of the plane etc but most of the systems will be generally the same so number one I always advise um, you to check the controls if you haven't already done so in the previous series which is going to be the series on what to do when you first spawn the plane or when you're at the gate series then I'd advise you now after the engines have been turned on or during the engines being turned on to press 9 press the number 9 key and it will give you the controls list have a good read of your controls it's important you have the reading skills to check your pitch and your bank are your was keys this is for keyboard controls your throttle up is your left shift your throttle down is your left control if for some reason your controls don't work you may have shift lock on so turn shift lock off and then proceed as you can see your flight cam status etc all these are important if you want to change controls that's of course K input mode is to change the controls between keyboard and mouse okay um, for this series I'm going to be talking about two very important systems that we've added which is the auto trim switch and the yaw damper okay these are important for you to know and this is what I'm going to talk about right now if you have a look at your plane press C press L to allow yourself to free cam and now oopsie have a look at your rudder specifically the back part of your plane if you press as you can see here rudder is one two and three by the way these keys are also changeable changeable um the only the white keys are changeable so you can change it to a key that's not being used but anyway uh, to move our rudder left we press one now if the yaw damper is on which would be a failure so if it was on below the altitude it shouldn't be on at the moment because you're on the ground you wouldn't be able to move your rudder if for some reason you can't move your rudder this is not that of course you've changed the controls or you don't know the controls but if for some reason you know your controls and it's not working or the rudder is moving by itself um, for some reason not like that but if the rudder is moving by itself moving itself back to the position without you telling it that will show that the yaw damper has failed or the yaw damper is still on to disable the yaw damper have a look at your controls list and it says home press home the yaw damper will be disabled and it will tell you here as well as that noise will notify that the yaw damper is off of course I'd advise you to keep the yaw damper on armed mode so when you take off it will automatically switch in so that you avoid Dutch yaw you should only turn off the yaw damper in crosswind landings and about I'd advise 500 feet so turn the yaw damper back on and it's switched back on it will arm itself when you've climbed off at the right altitude okay and then make sure using your trim settings that you can trim your horizontal stabilizer as you can see my stabilizer is moving if you're not able to do that so that means the auto trim is on and to turn off the auto trim just press your minus key and now you can see it's off and advise of course to turn that back on so that it can arm itself at the right altitude great now that's all the basics done um, the only button I will talk about mainly more in the actual flight um, video I'm coming is the middle mouse button and this is an important um, key I will show you on takeoff exactly what um, it can um, what it can
can do of course in the next series and how important it is because I am the next series which is the maintaining flight series and trimming um, trim auto trim series in more detail so basically how the auto trim works and how to detect how um, your plane is out of trim and what to do will be in that series so we'll ignore that for now make sure um, of course whether you want to do this in the lineup phase or the take or after you turn on the engines ensure that your trim is set to 0 0.2 for there will be eventually a system later on when the baggage and fuel comes that will let you calculate the exact trim you need for the plane but for now because we know what the weight is and we I've done the test the trim you need is to do a trim up which is your left bracket to 0 0.2 and you need to set it I'd advise you to set it of course exactly to 0 0.2 you can press and hold and it will give you of course exactly where you are so I've gone a bit too up there so if I press T that will show me my current trim so I've set it correctly now it's at 0 0.2 so this will allow me to take off once you've done that press P and let's get moving whether you like the cockpit mode of course this is not the full cockpit I have removed a lot of things um, as I am getting the plane ready of course for the clients um, when this update is done and the certification tests I've taken out a lot of things as I'm going to remove the cockpit partially so Taxing should be easy. You, um, I will nerf the speed just a bit because it's a bit too powerful. But taxing should be really easy with this version. You can pretty much, as real world, move the plane on idle um, and take turns that aren't too tight on idle. Um, for where I'm going to show you now when I enter the runway, since it's a U-turn, I may need a bit of power, but you're not going to ever need more than ten. 10% um, thrust um, unless it's a, a really tight U-turn um, which is not or a full like 360 for whatever reason I don't know why you would do that um, so as I'm continuing now as you can see I'm at zero, fr um, zero throttle don't forget if you're going to use mouse mode once you've lined up and you're ready to take off I would advise turning off the flight cam mode um, to flight mode because your mouse mode will not work um, so if you are going to have the free cam mode at least use the keyboard mode which it currently is in so I'm going to put a bit of power there didn't really need that much I'm going to let that roll a bit so I can get the whole body lined up in time. You should be as gentle as you can on the steering, as you can see from me, not so gentle, but of course you will be more gentle with more practice. And that, oop, look at how bad. Um, now this is the next lineup, the next part, the lineup stage make sure your plane is as lined up as possible for the purpose of this video being quick I am just going to line up like this ok of course you would do a better job than me when it comes to that so now I'm lined up okay now this is the phase where you should in my opinion if you've not already put your flight mode to take off and as you will see the flaps will come down as a result right now 
press the slash button to have a look at your speed this settings will be probably changed a little just in terms of the tweaks now to take more account of the weight but once that's done just have a look at your speeds um, roughly this plane is supposed to take off at 1 um, 147 so because it's the maximum takeoff weight so make sure that you know that your rotation is actually 147 not 153 as I said that will be tweet um, which means that you should have a V1 of around a 130 or so um, and as you can see your stall is 130 as well um, which is also important to note now that the plane is pretty much ready for takeoff um, and you've ensured that all your systems are still on so Good to make sure. Okay, that's on. Your damper's on. Um, and my trim is 0 0.2. Okay, so I'm clear for takeoff. For this part, I'm going to use my mouse mode because I enjoy that more. Make sure to make sure that um, you press your middle mouse button and make sure that this is not on. Okay, so request auto is not on because it will stop you from pitching up. And to make sure that you're in the right mode, press your middle mouse button to see this part. Okay, that's pretty much it. Release the brakes. Coast up to 30. And then flex takeoff. I like to leave my set at 80. I think Tokyo is overpowered these days, so I don't use it. Righty, we're approaching that speed. Now we're going to lift off. V1. There we are. I think um, on this setting, um, the trim was just a little off, so I would probably advise you to put a trim of 0.40. 0.30 um, for some reason 0.20 wasn't enough I'm not sure why um, so out of, of course when you play around with your plane you'll find the correct trim setting for you yourself in practice and you'll be able to put that in the books um, there will be more a more detailed um, document as well um, we'll be having a DESA manual that will advise you of course um, I would have put the gears up by now. Flaps up. So, by the way, now, um, if you're not aware, auto trim has kicked in and the yaw damper has kicked in. So, I have no control of the rudder, and I have, um, if I press T you'll see that the auto trim is still 0 0.2 luckily for me um, if I press request auto as you can see pressing 2 will show you that it's in 0 0.22 um, so it's trimmed itself it's trimmed itself exactly where I need it to be so as you can see it's automatically trimming itself if I don't want request auto on so I can have some control of there you go. A trimmed aircraft, you'll be able to put your mouse in the middle and it will not move from that position. Okay, a badly trimmed plane, let me show you a good example right now. I'm going to turn off the auto trim. Auto trim is off, okay. And I'm going to trim this plane very high up, okay. So look, Look how much effort it takes me. If I move my mouse here, it starts moving up. That's a badly trimmed plane. And the worse the trim is of the plane, so the more untrimmed the plane is upwards, the harder it is for me to keep the plane um, center. As you can see, my center is not where the center is. If I move it here, I start moving up. So if I notice that, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press my middle mouse button Oops, actually, give me one second. I'm going to turn the auto trim on and then press my middle mouse button. 
okay as you can see it's now hot at 14 if I turn that off now it's trimmed okay perfect trim it's trimmed automatically for me okay it's holding to the center I can go up I can go down center that's trim for you okay so thank you for watching this video and um, I hope my volume was high enough and the next one will be more detail in flying and um, now that we've actually done most of the trimming part it will mainly be um, maintaining flight um, and etc etc whatever same so thanks for watching and goodbye